Good Quinn. morning, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Thrilled to meet you. Now, we and will talk too. about Dirty Dancing, which yeah. is a show you've gone into. But first, because I love my reality shows and I love X Factor, we have to talk yeah, about... Yeah, you say you've been watching Big Brother, haven't you? Yeah, you had to say that on air. <laughs> now, that was a private moment of conversation, Ray. <laughs> that should not have been shared with people okay. who are listening, except that Tony Blackburn watches it too, and I blame him. <laughs> <laughs> I just get the feeling with you, and I might be wrong, that you're in the business because you want to be in the business and not because you want the fame. Am I right? You love the business. Well, I've, I've done, I've done this, this type of thing since I was like three years old. Have so you? all I ever know. And uh, I didn't do very well on my GCSE, so I can't fall Doesn't back matter on though, anything. does it? Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, I grew up doing it. I grew up loving it. It's my passion. It's always been my, my heart, my soul, everything. Uh, and without it, I'm nothing really. Uh, and it keeps it make, what makes me tick. So now. It's my career, it's my life, and it's what, what keeps me going every day. And Which obviously X Factor goes. And I, I, I love yeah. that about you because uh, so many people go into it because they just want the fame and they want, you know, they want the names in the tabloids and they, they want to be photographed wherever they are. And I've always had the feeling that, that you just love the business that you're I in. I really do, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm having fun on the stage so mm. much at the minute with Dirty Dancing. I'm, I'm literally like, this isn't a job. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know? <laughs> I know, I'm actually right, having so much fun, you know, and, and that's what it is for me it's fun yeah. and and you know it's my job i mean it's incredible we will talk incredible. about dirty dancing but i do want to ask you about the x factor yeah yeah what was that process like so obviously you were whittled down from thousands of people who entered and you were whittled 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 and obviously you got through to the final oh, it was it was mad it was absolutely crazy i mean what a whirlwind and you are literally in this bubble for so long do you live in a house all together uh, we, we do once we uh, get, get, to get to the, to the last the 12 shows. yeah yeah and we all move into this house together what yeah. was that like uh, well, I was 17 at the time, um, oh, baby. and, uh, you know, it's sort of like, wow, like, you know, this is really cool, um, and it was, and everyone got on really well, and, you know, and but I was, you know, a baby, I didn't really, I didn't cook for myself, I didn't know what to do, I was like, I've never lived on my own without my mum looking after me You've back never then. lived away from home? No, no, not not really, um, <clears throat> and, uh, and at the time I was like, going to the lads, like, the only chance you can do is breakfast, and they were like... <laughs> Shut up, do your own breakfast. And I was like, I don't know how to. I don't to. know how, yeah. And that's when I learned how to, you know, and it, and it, it, it you know, made me grow up really quickly, especially, uh, you know, on my own. Um, so it wasn't a huge area of sort of competition between you all because obviously you were fighting for a huge prize. Yeah, it was, but it didn't seem like that to me. Um, I, I was just grateful for the opportunity and the chance to, to you know, have a go at what I've always done uh, and try and be recognised for it, really. Who chose your songs? Because I always think sometimes song iconic songs are chosen for the people they want to go right through to the end. And I don't know whether I'm wrong here. And you don't have to say anything out of <laughs> tune with anything. But did you choose your own songs or did they tell you what to sing? Uh, no, it was, it was all Simon's um, decisions um, on what I sang. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Were you in his group? Yeah. Yeah, right. everybody really... loves Simon Cowell. Absolutely. Did you? Oh yeah. As soon as I got, well, the first time we found out we got Simon Cowell, <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no! Anybody thought, but him. I thought if he doesn't like me, mate, that's it. I'm gone. You know, and uh, and and it was. It was. It was it, the only time I felt really, really, really nerve wracking and really nervous was um, in the uh, boot camp, and I, I got. You know, where that, did you go? Um, we, I can't remember where it was. It was just in this big... It was abroad somewhere? No, no, no. It, boot camp is just in this big stately home thing with, right. with loads of grounds. And we're all outside, just sitting on the grass, trying to get our song together for this <laughs> thing. And, you know, it was all a lot of fun for me. I, was, I wasn't really taking it yeah. seriously. I wasn't, like, you know, trying to think of the big prize because that gets me too nervous and I can't do it. So I was just sort of like, you know, get me th stuff together, get myself, you know. And, uh, and then I went upstairs and... and he came right back at me and he was like, you're not taking this serious. And I was like, oh, no, he's cl clicked on to what I get at, at my yeah. process, you know. And, uh, and and yeah, that was it, really. And then and then he, he knocked me out, didn't he? And then he brought me... And then I was just absolutely destroyed. I was like, oh, I can't believe you it. See, no. I always think when they see things like that, they say, oh, they do that on purpose, just to make a little bit of drama. We'll knock him out and then we'll bring you back in yeah, again. Yeah, see, people... Everyone says that to me, but it was but proper it was really real. True. Absolutely. And, Tell uh, me how your life changed once you got through, because you, you lost to Leona Lewis. That's an amazing person to lose to. Oh, absolutely. So Well, I didn't lose. I come second. No, all right, you Roll came second. And, you know, <laughs> let's face it, your career has gone... 
Oh, Huge amazing. as yeah, a result. I mean, was... What was it like when you finished? What happened to you? What were the first things you... Uh, well, I mean, again, Leona was absolutely superb. And, uh, you know, to, to be in a final with somebody... Oh, fantastic. Uh, you know, for me, even now, looking back, I go, mm. wow, that was a fantastic time. And X Factor, again, was a stepping stone in my career. And I've not stopped working for four years, so I feel very lucky and very, you know, humble about that. Mm. Because, um, you know, work is few and far between, and I'm happy when I'm working. And you made a, a record which and, went uh, gold. Yeah, well, it went platinum. Them, that's all free. We did platinum. Yeah, 300,000 copies. And, Fantastic. Uh, sell out tour, and then I went on the X Factor tour, and and then uh, it just it was and that great. must have been a gas because by then you've relaxed you've got where you've got it, it it's you know everything's happening for you and then you can just relax and sing to people who want to hear you yeah it was great uh, and the tour was fantastic we had you know the x factor tour was huge and then i had my own tour which was Did you? i mean completely different obviously we're in theaters because you're quite swing boy aren't you yeah you and i had that. a band and that and you know the stage was great i mean it was it was so much more um what would you um, intimate? What, yeah, really yeah. intimate, and I could you see could all play the faces the audience and, and look at them. Yeah, and they're there and was, to see you. Yeah, and and to, the greatest gift for me was people paying their hard earned cash to come and see yeah. me, me sing. Like it's all I've ever done. Like what you know, it's unbelievable. Absolutely it's fantastic. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So tell me about Jersey dancing. I think I'm the only person that's never seen it. And I said to you just before we came on air, <laughs> isn't that where they say something about don't put baby in the corner or something? I was like, I'm yes. Just, and you're like, who's on it in the film? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm terrible. But I'll try and come and see you. And then, um, well, definitely tell me see about the Jer film first. And then, and then, no, come no, see no. I'll come see you first. Okay. Tell me about the story. <laughs> uh, basically, um, the story is a beautiful story. It's it's about relationships, and that's why people love it so much because they can relate to it. Uh, you know, it's about love. It's about falling out. It's about falling in love. It's about you know, it's it, it it's it's amazing. Um, and you see all different types of stories throughout the show. Mm. Uh, tragic things happen, and then they come to uh, fruition at the end, and 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 dreams do come true. I mean, it is a fantastic why story. Why is it called Dirty Dancing? Well. Because you see there's dirty dance. dancing somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, because they, they dance dirty. <laughs> I, won't, I, I won't ask more. It is literally like, uh, you know, without saying too much, you know, people like literally humping it's intimate. each other okay, on stage. Yeah. Moving on. Um, <laughs> talk to me about your character, because I know you've done Doody in Greece and you've played yeah. Danny Zuko in yeah. Greece. So you've done this, because I always get dirty dancing in Greece confused, which is just me, because I'm very old. Um, <laughs> tell me about your character in Dirty Dancing. Because with, with my previous characters, da uh, Doody and Danny, it's been really f like fun and, and, and it's really like, you know, uh, cheesy in a way, you know, like, and it's, uh, you, you're more involved with the audience and it's exciting and it's fun and it's energy, energy, energy. Mm. Uh, there's no real serious moment where you sit back and go, wow, you know, because in Dirty Dancing now I've got Billy and uh, and it's such a much more of a, a, a gritty storyline for me because I'm, I'm I'm plotting in the show so what 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 is your storyline what 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 does your character do? basically I'm, I'm I'm Johnny is the main guy um who's obviously played originally by Patrick Swayze mm -hmm. uh, and the guy who's playing now Johnny uh, I'm his cousin uh, Billy Kostecki I'm Johnny's cousin mm -hmm. um and I bring baby into this into this whole new world she's never even seen before. Oh, so you bring her and in. I introduce her to to Johnny, um, uh, and so I'm the one who starts the whole story off really, um, and then tragic things happen, which you know I don't want to give away, but I, I to you or to no I don't want to give away to the to okay. the audience listening. They have to come see it. You have to come see it, but uh, yeah, I mean the the the, the storyline is so so incredibly like really gritty and uh, to get my teeth into it and really act is, 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 is beautiful and I get to sing fantastic songs um, I sing Still of the Night which is a beautiful song and uh, Time of My Life at the okay, end Okay, sing me two bars from Still of the Night I can't see you really, I haven't warmed oh, up right. for you well, You see, I love people who sit opposite me and sing to me never mind where you can do it another time <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so you're singing, you're dancing, you're acting really this is fulfilling everything that you want to do you've come through X Factor yeah. you've had a gold platinum album yeah. and now you're in the West End you're really living all your dreams aren't absolutely, you? yeah and, uh, that you've wanted from the year it's a bit like Billy Elliot with you really how, how did people ac accept you at school did they, did they bully you, did they tease you about the fact that you were a dance boy not really, because you know, at the time they didn't really know I was dancing and to be honest it was just one of them things You know what, what I did it wasn't really a question really because uh, at the time I was just in school doing my thing um, 
and that nurturing was nurturing dreams. Yeah, that um, they probably didn't but know. I, I knew in school, I was like, I know what I want to do. I know, you know, and then I think if you, I was really driven anyway, and and I still am. Like, you know, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm dreams are constantly clicking in my head, and I'm, I want to, I want to drive and be ambitious to get them. Do you ever Google yourself? No. Don't you? So you don't read reviews about yourself? You don't read what people on the blogs are saying? No, not really. Don't no. You, you are brave. You're no, I'll stay back from that. You're because very I think, wise. you know, uh, you know that that's all well and great and what people think is, is you know, is lovely. Some things are nice, some things aren't. And uh, at the end of the day, as long as I'm happy and I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. And you're doing your job. And I'm doing my job right. And Talk to me about it. dancing on ice, because that is dangerous. Now, you must have skated before. No, I, I mean, I went, what, two, three, probably four times with my mum when I was a kid. Um, but how did you those do it so skates. well? I don't get it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, just, I was up for a challenge, really, and uh, I'm, I'm quite competitive. So if I get something in front of me, let's do this, I'll go, all right, yeah, no worries. So know. how did you get to the level you got? Did you go all day, every day, dancing, oh, like, skating? Yeah, four or five hours a day training, yeah, for like six months, and then on tour as well. And then especially when you're skating every single day, two shows a day, it just becomes second nature. And you can think about other things like lifts and techniques. And How dangerous was it? Weren't you a bit scared? Well, I was scared at first. I mean, I was, I've was i never shaked so much in my life. I, I put these skates on, these brand new leather skates with the nice steel, you know, proper stainless steel blade. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. wow, this is going to be amazing. And I stepped onto the ice and it was sort of like I had to skate over to Chris and Jane just so they could see. <laughs> well, I've, I was like, oh... You know, when you proper shake, like, and you're like, why am I shaking? Can't, why can't? And it was literally well, like for that. For start, you're in front of Olympic champions yeah, who are the best. And uh, and I thought, I've got to look. I've got to do this good, yeah. So I skated over real quick, and I couldn't stop. So I was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you're like, whoa, slow down, Ray. And then from then on, I think Chris knew that I was I was determined to to you know give it my best shot, and uh, he, he was made up. I mean. Both Chris and Jane opened their arms to me and took me under the wing and tried to teach me everything they knew. So and they succeeded. For me, it was and a kept it up. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Well, I, I try to. Obviously, being in shows and stuff, I don't really want to go just in case I hurt myself. Um, I mean, saying that, I ride a motorbike, but <laughs> but um, I'm not sure which is the more dangerous uh, motorbike or dancing on ice. Uh, absolutely. But um, no, I mean, I, I'm not. I, I try and I want to definitely keep it up. But yeah. I've been doing the tour. I've done the tour twice now. Of the dancing on ice tour. Yeah, yeah, and that goes all Did over. Did you win a lot? Because um, the audience vote on tour, don't they? Well, the first year, yeah, I won. I won most of them. Um, the second year, though, I, I, I took a year out from skating. I didn't do any at all, oh. and I went back with new boots and all things like that. Um, and everybody brought it, like, really, really brought it, and I, I didn't win as many. But now, when you did X Factor, <laughs> who was it called you Panto Boy? Was that Simon or was that Sharon Osbourne? That was Sharon, wasn't See, it? See, I think yeah. that's a huge compliment because I've done pantos all my life, and Absolutely. I think panto is a great skill, it's an absolute joy to do, and I know you did Birmingham last year, yeah. and that must have been opening up another new world for you, really. Oh, it was great. I, I really enjoy pantomime. Um... Uh, you know, I mean, I had, a, I had Joe Pasquale. I mean, you can't have a not, can't Wonderful. not have a good time with him. We had, we had a laugh, and um, you know, we had such a great team with us. Uh, and the show was fab. We had 3D. I mean, we had all kinds. Uh, and and the, the Birmingham crowd were absolutely superb mm. every single night, full house every night. Um, and you're doing more this year. In and I'm doing more this year in, in Northampton. Yeah. Um, so where would you like your career to know? So you've had Platinum Man. Would you like to do more recording? Would you like to stay on with the musicals in the West End? What, where would you like to go next? Uh, well, um, I don't know really. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd I'd love to do more musicals. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, because that's what's where I feel like. Wow, you know this. As me, because um, I love a live audience. But then again, I'd love to do another album, and I, I just for me is, is 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 timing really, and getting the right people behind me, and getting the right music, and and, and coming out at the right time. But uh, I mean, I think future wise, I, I'd love to I'd love to do films. Like I mean, proper like real acting. Like I'd really get love to get yeah, into that. Like. get yourself into the movies. That's the only thing you haven't done yet, and maybe a bit more acting on television. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Brilliant. Well, Ray <laughs> Quinn is in Dirty Dancing, and what theatre are you in? The Aldridge Theatre. The Aldridge Theatre. Check out the website. You can go on there. What www. is the website? Www. Dirty Dancing London. Dot com. Check out there. What do we do get... before the internet? I don't know. I know. That's what I was saying the other day. What would you do for what do we before do? Do you sat Twitter? naps? Like, where'd you go? Do you Twitter? Uh, I do occasionally.